This is iBergamot with a five-year T-theory study uh, from 1997 introduction by Terence Laundry. Uh, T-theory is a method of analyzing general investment trends using a time symmetry. A law of matched trend time basically states that duration over which investor can obtain superior equity returns will always be equal to the previous time period in which returns were subnormal. So period of subnormal returns over the past five years was generally when advance decline line on New York Stock Exchange was horizontal versus a proper cash build-up phase, a traditional uh, period of correction when advanced decline line declines, like it was in the last green tea, which just ran out. Uh, I wanted to perform a study with the benefit of hindsight, and of course, making these teas look as pretty and as complete as possible with large periods of superior returns, which often overlaps, just like Terry Laundry had in his works, and some uh, complete duds, just like he had, with uncertainty where to put the center post, and I will address this issue in a moment. And um, I performed this analysis on two um, statistical measures. The first one is a traditional New York Stock Exchange advanced decline line, which is all advancing issues minus all declining issues plotted daily. When you have more of them, the line increases. When you have less of them, the line goes down. The red line is all the issues of New York Stock Exchange calculated this way. The black line is only common stocks. There are less than half issues that trade on New York Stock Exchange are actual stocks. Everything else is uh, God knows what. For the, for the purposes of this discussion, it's irrelevant. So in 2012, there was a period when there were two tops in advanced decline line. Uh, there was one top in uh, common stocks only, and the second barely overtook it, and uh, in uh, traditional advanced decline line, top came in at about the same time, so two tops. Um, this bottom, the, the lowest of advanced decline, actually produced two decent T's and uh, you know these are good kind of a tops uh, followed by a slight decline over here uh, so that worked out we have a low um, now there are alternative ways to put center posts of the T's of the time symmetry measure that Terry Laundry addressed in his work and I've seen it on his charts, where the center post is actually right before the breakout. The last low before the breakout. Well, maybe this last low is not significant enough. So this will be the last low. Whichever way I perform the measurement, they come out nicely um, and uh, develop over the course of uh, 160 days, 220 days. So these are not the small symmetries. This is quite far in the future. Um, I have to say that uh, during 2013, the situation developed when I had an opinion that market will collapse. And based on that opinion, I sold many stocks that I had, and I had significant profits from the spring run-up. I have it actually documented on my blog. And uh, in System 1 account, in a long-term account, I went in cash. I sold everything. And I missed this run-up into 2014 and beyond. That actually did happen to me. Um, but in any case, uh, as these two T's progressing into July top and into November top, there is also a peculiar thing in advanced decline line. Now, this time, common stocks, they actually make in higher highs. They make in higher highs. But the traditional advanced decline line is making flat tops. Now, I'm, I'm proposing, I didn't do it in real time, but looking at this like I would, I'm proposing that I would use the same approach I used here for the common stocks. I will use a traditional line. So we move on to 2013. These are two 
end posts uh, two projections of advanced decline T's from 2012 and they came in into nice tops there were some declines but nothing major see when a T runs out it doesn't mean that the bear market will start it just means that the, the, the period of superior returns is over and uh, what's left is a mess so three tops in advanced decline li line right here and we have a breakout we have a breakout so last low before the breakout projects into March that's not bad I remember beginning of 2014 I just went uh, to trade uh, full time and I lost quite a bit of money right here that was a fishing expedition by the way that the post can be found on my blog um, but then advanced decline line came back and kind of had a secondary breakout so maybe this is the last low before the breakout kind of feels stupid you pull in this low that low how many lows so fine this one goes too into summer of 2014 which is not bad I actually had a T in real time that was ending in the summer of 2014 it's also in my blog uh, now since we're making a T from this low what not make a T from this low but that would be really stupid this is a stupid T I mean the advanced decline line broke out for sure it broke out there, there cannot be a center post and a penalty for making a stupid tease is it projects dead into the lows of October drop and that was a scary drop I remember that period of time I was buying a dip and I pissed my pants at the low I sold and I had to buy all the shit back at the higher prices I have that on my blog too I made out nicely afterwards well let's see what's going on afterwards so we come into October and both advanced decline lines the red line is a traditional and the black line is common stocks only they kind of making these highs and they making these lows and highs and lows and you can build a whole bunch of T's and actually I was involved in that and it was always too late and it was never in conclusive there are so many center posts is it here is it price low there were two short range in nature see these are short range T's and short range T's have low probability of success uh, I have to say that I had an idea at these October lows that there is a T that will come out of it some kind of a T that will have a cash build up phase uh, you know early uh, somewhere in the summer uh, of 2014 and go like this and then uh, go like that again Terry Laundry had these things in his works and that would project somewhere here but nothing came out of it that period was there was nothing going on after the shock of October drop nobody was doing anything stocks weren't going up stocks weren't going down it wasn't just nothing so we move on through 2015 now while everything is making nothing over here I have to say I didn't do it in real time but using the same logic as before there are multiple tops in advanced decline line of common stocks only at about the same level so maybe we can use it for some kind of a I don't know two uh, previous tops to make some T's and if this is a breakout this is definitely breakout above the top line then this is the last law no matter how you slice it and it's a V reversal there are no questions about it that actually projected into um, spring of 2015 where a range got so narrow the S&P barely moved in like 1% ranges it, it's like it was dead system 12 was partially in cash there were no buys in system 9 it was really dead dead period of time uh, coming into summer of last year and whatever I tried to buy would always get stopped out for a little loss and whatever I had a gain on if I didn't take it right away it was gone it was just chop just endless chop so all right let's say this breakout failed this breakout failed and it came back down and it broke out again so you say all right fine I'll put the center post in this low this is like the last last low 
or maybe it's too late maybe this is the last low I don't even know what the low is now and the uh, result of this is a stupid T see well, when you start try to stick a center post into where it's not supposed to be the common uh, the uh, traditional advanced decline line moved up higher this cannot be a center post anymore this is stupid so the stupid T actually pinpointed the lows of the first drop in August of 2015 which is not uncommon it's called bear T's but bear T's are beyond the scope of this discussion which were happening here in 2015 as it was going through the proper cash build up phase like it's supposed to advanced decline lines they falling the initial lows in uh, uh, in 2015 produced the measurements that actually measure right into these final lows it's called Berti uh, but this is a decent cash build up phase and we have double bottom and I can split it any way you want using these three tops I was thinking about this for days and days and uh, going over charts and different stocks and my notes these are three tops I'm convinced in the spring of 2015 after which the distribution started or maybe it was already going on the distribution was probably already going on but this is the matched trend time concept so from these highs to these lows we have projections well the, the biggest projection I could make just ran out in December 8 and I cannot see any other way to build it here right now well I mean there, maybe there is one but it's really it's really pushing there some projections actually hit the low which is kind of useless um, a few of them hit um, uh, in uh, September um, and then a couple of them in October um, I was actually buying stocks here I was buying here in September I was buying here in October and that T already ran out but there were larger T's and now well I guess we're an out of tea. Until next time.